This is the R-Flex Knee CPM from Sammons Preston Patterson Medical. I'm going to show you some of the adjustment and settings of this machine. Start first, first of all with the power cord. Of course the one end will plug into a wall receptacle. The other end of the power cord into a receptacle just inside the handle that's on the right side of the CPM machine where my finger is pointing right now. If you put the power cord underneath the handle, orient it correctly, make sure that it's seated properly. Towards the other end of the machine on that same side is the power switch. So if you can see the power switch right here, you want to make sure that that power switch is turned on. And you will know if it's turned on or not by looking at the hand control. When the LEDs on there illuminate, you will see that you have got the power on. We will talk more about that hand control in a few minutes. Adjustments of the machine itself. You've got length adjustments here for the lower leg, for the tibial portion. Adjustments in and out this way. Adjustments for the angle of the ankle. Here. I want you to also notice that you can shorten the length for your tibial adjustment by removing this all the way and flipping it over. Now you can effectively shorten the distance or the length of the tibia twice this distance from this axis to the foot plate that used to be this far out can now be shortened this far in. So you, you have shortened about uh, six to eight inches there. And you still have your adjustment. You have Velcro surface on both sides of this foot plate so that the uh, pad kit boot can stick to either side. So I'm going to turn this back around into the standard configuration. Leave it slid out, out of the way. Tighten things down here and here. While it, I'm at this end, I'm going to show you one other nice feature of the R-Flex. This is an adjustment to keep the uh, machine from migrating so easily in the bed. If you've got a bed with a footboard and you have any issues with the CPM migrating away from the client that's using the machine, this little bar here will slide out. You've got a knob on either side to loosen. Slide this out to the position where it's butted up against the footboard of the bed. Tighten these knobs back in place. And now this will help to keep the machine from sliding this way away from the client. Of course for storage, slide that back in or for transport. At the other end of the CPM, adjusting in length for the upper leg, for the femoral or the thigh portion, you've got adjustment knobs on either side here as well. And that will give you your length adjustments. You probably can't see them on the camera, but there are markings on each of the bars noting in inches and in centimeters the length that you're adjusting it to. This would correlate to the length that you would measure from the tr greater trochanter, the hip bone, down to the little joint space on the side of the knee joint. So we'll let that go back down a little bit in length.